Hello, everybody. Welcome to our next edition of Subway Sundays. Yes, this is so exciting. We're going to do this one Yoko Ono style here at 72nd Street. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a like, yeah. subscribe, maybe leave a comment. You know, all the exciting stuff. All the, you, you guys know what to do. Yeah, all and speaking things. of knowing what to do, let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. All right, so we are at 72nd Street in Central Park West. We are on the Upper West Side. The B and the C trains go zipping past. Here comes the C right now. Yes. Uh, we are just beneath uh, the um, luxury hotel building, or excuse me, apartment building, the Dakota. Yes. Uh, and this is where Yoko Ono and John Lennon lived uh, from 1973 until John Lennon's death, December 8th, 1980. Uh, Yoko continued to live here until uh, February 2023 this year, and uh, at which point in time she uh, decided to move to their farm upstate. But fortunately, her subway art that we're seeing right now remains below her former home. She's 90, right? So yeah, 90. Yeah. Um, the collective uh, pieces all together, um, the artwork is called Sky, and um, uh, all together it's 970 three square feet. Um, it was installed in this station in 2018, so it's, you know, relatively new, five years old. Um, you'll see azure blue mosaics that uh, depict the sky filled with puppy white clouds. Um, it's really cool, and the idea is to bring a bit of the outdoors below ground. Um, the other purpose is to fill the subway station with messages of hope. You'll see all the words um, on, on all of the mosaics that are uh, hopeful. Um, she also designed the murals to um, subtly shift in perspective. Um, this allows transit users to see the clouds from slightly different angles as they walk through the station. Yeah, and the words that Patrick was talking about, those hopeful words, you've seen quite a few of them so far. We have words like uh, remember, imagine peace, yeah. remember love, uh, yes, and uh, dream. <laughs> yeah, all positive, you know, things. And Yoko um, has a quote um, she said about this subway station, I'm thrilled that my, my new work Sky will be opening at the 72nd Street subway station just steps from my home and strawberry fields, which I created in memory of my late husband is what she said uh, in a statement. And she also said it will bring the sky underground so it's always with us. I hope this will bring peace and joy to my fellow New Yorkers for many years to come. And I, I hope it does too. Yeah. It's really cool. I think it will. I think what I, one thing I do love about this station is that even if you're not getting off the train, you see these beautiful blue mosaics as, as you're riding along through the station. Yeah. It's so, so bright. Or just waiting, waiting for the train, you know, it's just such a, it is such a positive forward station. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, my goodness. These are beautiful. What I love about these is that they brighten up the subway station. Subway stations can be drab, and yeah. I like that the, this one um, brightens it up. That's right. And also I love that we're beneath the Dakota. I mean, how fitting that these Yoko Ono pieces yeah, are right all here. Of the, um, all of the sayings on all of the mosaics are very, um, very uh, the essence of Yoko Ono, yeah, which is yeah. kind of nice. Thank you for joining us. If you like today's tour, we have lots more of our Subway Sunday series. You can check those out on our page. How do you... Um, find out about that well you click the bell for notifications That's and right. you subscribe That's right. and you leave a comment and you um, like things and you know all the exciting YouTube stuff all those things that you all already know thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next Sunday Bye.